really good change of pace from the Koreans. Let's bring on the man who has won here before. He has been world number one in doubles with three different partners in the men's game and one in the women's game as well. Please welcome Lee Young Day. to do a sort of initiation obviously this is a very special club as we've said before um, but it means a presentation as well um, so that we can officially welcome in Lee Young Day to become uh, the latest uh, Yonix legend uh, please welcome the chem of Yonix Ben Yonayama The pin is on. Now it's official. There's no going back. Um, so Lee Young Day is uh, going to say a few words, and uh, you'll also hear a translation. So Lee, over to you. 안녕하십니까. 저는 대한민국 배드민턴 선수 이용대입니다. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Lee Young Day from uh, Korea. <laughs> 어 먼저 오늘 이 자리를 피터 게이, 타오피 그리고 유닉스 벤 회장님께서 이렇게 어, 자리를 만들어 주신 거에 대해 어, 너무나 감사드립니다. First of all, uh, I'm really glad and it's my great honor to be here and I also thank you, uh, Peter Gay, Taufi Hidayat, and uh, Chairman Mr. Ben Yoneyama to uh, introduce me to everybody and. Uh, warm welcome here. 어 그리고 무엇보다도 유닉스와 또한 가족이 됐다는 것에 너무나 어, 큰 기쁨이고 또 제가 경기를 같이 뛰면서 어, 지금까지 동경해 왔던 배드민턴 레전드들과 이런 큰 자리에 설수 있다는 것에 어, 큰 영광이라고 생각하고 있습니다. Once again, I'm very happy to be one of the Unix family member. And uh, it's my great honor to be together with uh, all the badminton legends whom I admire uh, tonight. 어 그리고 이제 유닉스를 통해서 많은 분들과 인사를 드리게 될 거고요. 또어 유닉스 배드민턴 레전드 하고 앞으로도 좋은 어 기회를 통해서 전 세계적으로 배드민턴 알리는데 노력하겠고 또 앞으로 저 개인적으로도. 어, 최선을 다하는 선수가 되도록 하겠습니다. Uh, as a, uh, one of UNEX um, a family member, I'll do my best to uh, promote badminton all over the world through the uh, Legends Vision, and also as the uh, badminton players, I'll do my best to show my uh, best performance to everybody. 감사합니다. 끝내주세요. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Let's get, some, let's get some immediate reaction, shall we, to our latest bit of breaking news. Um, Peter, why is Lee Young Day a, a really good choice for the latest legends? Well, to be honest, for, for me, he's, uh, he's an amazing player. He's been, 
Uh, he's continuing the great tradition of uh, great uh, doubles players coming from, from Korea. Uh, he do, uh, when he's on court, you feel he's got a special kind of uh, flair. He's fighting, he's got a huge passion for the game. Uh, always being a good partner on court. Uh, for me, he's, uh, it's a natural that he, he's, he's on this stage. And, and Taufik, what is so special about Young Day? Yeah, you know, it's the Leonis, the Olympic gold medal in, in the mixed double, right? After that, he's moved to double. He's the great player, one of the great players in the double also. is the nice person also. Also for the fan, and then they're like uh, everywhere when he come last, like last week, he came to Indonesia even not play for the national, not, e not nas international game, just for local game. Everybody like, la liyunde, if it's a girl like that. So now it's become here, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks for joining with us, liyunde. Um, if let me just put it this way. You had one of the best backhand smashes in the world. You were very agile, great footwork, great disguise, great deception. Which of you is the best doubles partner for Lee Young Day? <laughs> State your case now. Peter. Well, I'm, I was, I'm a former world junior oh. champion in men's doubles. Oh, oh, no. oh really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Taufik, any response? Yeah, I'm Palmer when I'm school. School? Yeah, high school. <laughs> big title? Yeah, <laughs> big title. <laughs> I'm also Palmer, right? I, t I tell you what, we're going to have to get a verdict on this. Let's ask the man himself. <laughs> Lee Young Day, who would you pick between Taufik and Peter as your doubles <laughs> partner? <laughs> oh, just for double, right? <laughs> <laughs> 아 정말 아 정, 진짜 어려운 질문, 질문인 것 같은데 어 저는 이 선수들 모두가 제가 좋아하는 선수기 때문에 항상 복식 스타일 좀 드라이브나 이런 것들을 잘 친다고 생각을 하고 있어요. 그래서 그런지 제가 다음 생에 태어나면 이 선수들과 한번 단식을 저도 고등학교 때까지 단식을 잘했기 때문에 단식을 한번 붙고 싶은 마음이 있습니다. Actually, it's real difficult question, and uh, I think that. Uh, these two, uh, Peter Gate and uh, Tafidai, also will be the good uh, partner for the men's doubles. But uh, for the next life, if I born again, <laughs> I'll be the men's singles because I used to be a very good uh, men's single ah. player till uh, high school students and compete to these two guys. Good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Ah, who saw that coming, eh? Who saw that coming? Um, well, listen, guys, um, one extra little bonus for you. In fact, two extra bonuses for you. I told a little fib earlier. Please welcome on stage our two remaining legends because they've come here straight from physio after competing today here at the Onyx Hall England. Lin Dan and Lee Chung Wei. Uh, so, guys, um, maybe Lee Chung Wei, I, I know that you don't have much time with us, but um, would you like to say a few words welcoming Lee Yong Day to the legends? Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Mr. Ben and uh, all the your next uh, staff here. And uh, first of all, I want to welcome to Lee Yong Day and uh, your next family. And, uh, Thank you for uh, today, anybody uh, attend for the legend vision for the 2017 and all England. Anlin? Oh. Uh, I think this is uh, a very inspiring time in the world. I was able to give a very popular man in the world, and he was a big fan. He said he welcomes the young day because he's a very, very pretty. Very beautiful. <laughs> 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 very, 
very exacting standards we have here at Yonix Legends. If you want to be part of this club, you've got to be pretty. Um, I'm just going to step off stage and we're going to just bring everyone closer together for a photo. So anyone who wants to take a photo, you've literally got 20 seconds. Guys, if you could line up for a photo, please. Snap away with your cameras and also, oh, hang on a minute, selfie time. Right, let's see this. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, I don't care if your phone is on lock, 3, 2, you lost battery, sorry, 1. Okay, guys, I'm afraid we're going to have to let Lin Dan and Lee Chung Wei go because obviously they are preparing for their quarterfinals tomorrow. Give them a big round of applause, Lin Dan and Lee Chung Wei. Right, and off they go. Great for them to spare the time. Uh, honestly, was a real huge surprise for us. Got the little nods. That really was breaking news. Okay, um, we just want to open the questions to the floor. Any assembled media fans who want to ask questions to these guys? Uh, if anyone would like to ask a question, then please raise your hand. We have a roving mic that's moving around the room. Or are you all too shy? You really are, aren't you? Any questions from the floor at all? One here. Just here down the front. Thank you, Ian. Hi, guys. Um, in now international players of your standards, and obviously looking to a future generation, how are you looking to like grow the sport? How are you looking to grow the sport even further? Like, what strategies have you got in place to do that? Okay, I'll put that question to Peter. What, what, what are you doing to try and grow the sport? You guys have got such high standards, but how are you achieving that with the Onyx Legends vision? Well, I think it's, it, is, it is our legacy. It is a... I think it is our, our legacy, our duty to pass on what, what this sport gave us for, for so many years, for all our, our lives. And uh, we have to bring the sport uh, also to other parts of the world. Uh, to make it even more popular. Uh, we have to bring the sport to, to young people all around the world, in badminton countries and non-badminton countries. And we have to do that by making events like this to inspire people and to open up their eyes for, for this great sport. Thank you, Peter. Any more questions from the floor? Or are we done? I think we might be done. Thank you for that question. Really appreciate it. Um, ladies and gents, thank you so much for being here and again for your attention and attendance as we've shared the latest bit of news as far as the uh, Yonix uh, Legends Vision programme is concerned. Please give it up one more time. Peter Gader, Lee Young Day and also Tavik Hillier. Go and enjoy some refreshments. You're now allowed back at the bar. Thank you. As far back as he can remember, this was his dream, to play every day, for his sport to be his life. He had to make a choice that would lead the direction of his life. He taught himself the key to success was to know your opposition and adapt your game to come out on top. Knowledge became his weapon. To watch, learn from his heroes and adapt his style of play. Nothing is insignificant, no detail too small. It all counts when he outsmarts the opposition. Every action, every observation, everything he does is his strategy to win.
Back then, he made a choice. A choice that surprised everyone. And he's been surprising people ever since. Some call it instinct, and maybe it is. But instinct alone isn't enough. He's fast, but so are the others. He's strong, but they are too. To beat the best, you need options. And the more options you give yourself, the more your instinct has to work with. So he made a choice. He chose to be different, to be unpredictable, to take risks. He chose not to beat them at their own game, but to beat them at his. There was a time when it was all just a game, when winning didn't really matter, but others saw a spark that he couldn't see himself. They showed him possibilities he'd never imagined, and he understood that everything wasn't just a game, but that the game was everything. So he pushed harder and went further. He learned when to be strong and when to be subtle. He tasted victory and he swallowed defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, there is food as well as drink. Yes, that's right. There is food as well as drink in the bar area away from the stage and it is being served now. So if you'd like something to eat, please come and join us in the bar area away from the stage where both food and drink are being served. Thank you very much indeed. At the time, I felt the odds were stacked against me. I already knew what I wanted to be, but there were so many distractions. School, homework, piano lessons. To me, they were just obstacles, things to conquer, to overcome, so that I could be free to follow my own path. Today, I understand. Those weren't really obstacles. They were stepping stones. The dedication of a good student. The rhythm and finesse of a practiced musician. I moved on, but those things never left me. They just found a different expression. My fans say I'm a superhero. But the truth is, I'm just a hard worker. <laughs> 